Guys, today we will make 6 volt battery charge level indicator circuit. For that first we need 1 and 4 double zero 7 rectifier diodes. Plus as anode and minus as cathode. Apply little solder on leads of diode. Take a green LED. Bend the leads of LED. And trim positive lead. Now solder the LED positive with diode's cathode side. Take yellow LED. Solder the yellow LED positive with diode's anode side. Take another 1N4007 diode and solder diode's cathode to yellow LED positive. Now take red LED. Solder red LED positive with diode's anode. Take 3.3V Zener diode. Solder anode to red LED positive. Now apply solder on LED's negative leads. Take 180 ohms resistor. Solder on negative of red LED. Take 1 kilo ohms resistor. Solder on negative of yellow LED. Now connect ends of two resistors with negative of green LED. Now take two wires. Solder negative wire with ends of resistors. Solder positive wire with Zener diode's cathode side. Here a circuit diagram, download link is in description. Now let's test the circuit. To monitor the voltage I will connect the multimeter with circuit. Now let's connect variable power supply to circuit. Normally a fully charged 6 volt battery provides 6.6 volts. And as you can see all 3 LEDs is glowing at 6.6 volts and indicates battery level as 100%. Now on decreasing voltage to 6 volts green LED turns off and indicates battery level as 50% left. And further on decreasing voltage to 5 volts yellow LED also turns off. Here your battery is empty, and you need to recharge. When battery will get 50% charged, yellow LED will glow. And when fully charged, green LED will glow. Now let's test practically on 6 volt battery. This battery is fully charged as you can see output is 6.6 volts. Now I will connect this circuit with battery.
You can see all LEDs is glowing. Now here we have another 6 volt battery to test. As you can see output is 6 volts and 50% charge is left. Now I connect circuit with battery. You can see only two LEDs is glowing. I recommend to solder this push button between one terminal to avoid discharging battery with this circuit. Whenever you would like to check battery level you can simply press the button to check battery level. Also I recommend to make circuit on this zero PCB for safety. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel, also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.